you are searching for truth. Well, this is it in the simplest form. This is God's plan of salvation for all who will receive it and believe it and believe God and trust him. He is righteous. His righteousness also includes judgment for all who refuse his gift of salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ and his sacrifice on Calvary. Come to the cross. Believe what God has set forth to deliver to you everlasting life. And the only way is through his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Forget your religion and all man-made laws defining what is sin. God defines sin as your rejection of him and the way that he set forth through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Please watch this short video and share it. I'm going to include a download link so that you can put it on your, your phones, put it on your computer, put it on CDs, share it with everyone you come in contact with. Let's get people delivered from death to everlasting life. Amen. Hello, I'm going to tell you an interesting story for five minutes. Just make yourself comfortable and listen. The Bible shows a good picture of relationship between man and God. God truly wants a close relationship with man. Only when men have a close relationship with God can they enjoy life to the fullest, like live tree. However, men rejected this close relationship with God and made themselves distant from God. That is how they became alienated from God. Likewise, God caused this rejection of a close relationship with God sin. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. For all have sinned. Everybody who lives as they please without God is a sinner. And this very sinner is judged by God. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 says that just as man is destined to die once and after that to face judgment, that is not the end, but is followed by God's judgment. And the judge's soul descend into hell, which is eternal death. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says that, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The wages of sin is death. Therefore, some people think they can reach God when they do many good deeds or live a moral life. Or some try to reach out to God by practicing religion such as Buddhism, Confucianism or Taoism. But nothing in this world such as good deeds, morals, and religions can lead us to God. See, he is not able to reach God. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 says, There is a way that seems right to man, but in the end it leads to death. So all people that live as they please without God are learning towards sin, God's judgment, and hell, the eternal death. So God who loves us came up with a marvelous solution which only God is able to implement. That is none other than Jesus Christ. God paved the way for man to reach him by having his one and only son Jesus Christ carry every man's sin for us and crucifying him. See, he is able to reach God. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, 
But God demonstrated His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You can receive Jesus as your personal Savior by hearing and believing this pact with is God's word. John chapter 1 verse 12 says that Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the light to become children of God. God gave the light to become his children. In this way, anyone who receives Jesus as his personal savior becomes a child of God. Where cats have their own life, puppies have their own life, and men have their own life as well. Likewise, children of God will be able to have eternal life, which is God's life. The Bible promises us a blessing where a person who became a child of God is not condemned by God, but is transformed from a sinner to a righteous man, from eternal death to eternal life. John chapter 5 verse 24 says that I tell you the truth, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned, he has crossed over from death to life. Now think on which side you stand. Are you standing on the phrase where there are God's judgment and eternal death far away from God because of your sins? Or are you standing on the other side where there are righteous men no judgment, but everlasting and abundant life that God has promised it. It's up to you, brother. Right now you may feel like something is touching your heart. That's the voice of Jesus. Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart right now. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 says that, Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. I just hope that you will open your heart wide and accept Jesus as your personal Savior so that you will be transferred from here to the place of blessing. Let me pray for a minute and finish. You just have to say Amen at the end. Lord, I believe that it is not a coincidence that this brother is hearing your word today. Lord, you made him hear your word because you loved him. I pray that he will make his heart wide open and receive Jesus as his personal Savior so that he won't lead to God's judgment after being transformed from a sinner to a righteous man and will be moved from eternal death to everlasting life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Say Amen.